Well, the starting point normally is, is an, something I see. And maybe an emotional point, starting point. So I see uh, anything on the streets or maybe a person. Maybe I could look at the television and see something. And that uh, starts for me the creative uh, process in this. And um, then I beginning to plan a painting and I give, I give myself maybe like a, a frame and in this frame I'm starting and in this um, line or in this process I try to find my own story in the painting and it's, it's important to say that the emotion can change when I'm doing it, when I'm working on it. Maybe it's not the same emotion at the end of the painting, uh, that it's at the beginning, that it's really important. Mm. It's part of the process. So I have this point and I'm looking what will happen in this process. I can't breathe in this painting. This is the problem. If, if the frame is too, too small for me, uh, I can't work. Uh, in it. I can work with the painting in it and with the colors in it, so um, I always have, I need a window and the window, uh, ah, I don't, <laughs> you can cut it, <laughs> I can cut it out. <laughs> if you make a plan that is too, too much plan and too, too, too straight in it, um, for me it's difficult uh, to get to an end and to make it open for the people that will watch after that my paintings. This process is a really emotional process and it happens automatically. I, I can't put as a painter or as an artist, I could some, maybe I could open a little bit the window. So if this will happen, it would be great. It would be all that I love to do. Um, and I try to put some elements in the paintings um, that will open for you your own story. And could everything, it could be the world. Maybe like Cezanne, he painted two apples and it tells you the system of the world. And it's enough. Or you could paint, I don't know, try to paint the whole world and it's nothing, you know, a little bit. And um, yeah, I try to give you a frame. I try to give you a window. You could uh, look out a little bit and uh, maybe think about the world, think about your existence, all that stuff. And if you say it's nothing for me, well, it's nothing. It's not like a, not like a thriller with, I don't know, <laughs> which tells you everything you have to think about, which is a good one and a bad one. And uh, um, they plan the, 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 uh, the movie for you. And you're just sitting there. I say, okay, I give you the frame, I give you the window, and uh, then you could make your own story. And if you say it's boring for me, or it's fantastic, feel free to feel this. You could find on my paintings uh, maybe a computer or a mobile or, or all the things, but um, I try to, to take them and put them out a little bit of, the, uh, of our context. And put them out of the context of our time 2020 I don't know and um, maybe to search for for the sense behind I'm more interested which is the connection between a candle and a mobile for example both are transporting lights and both are maybe putting us in another world sometimes, I don't know, and uh, which is the, the poetry behind this moving movements, uh, maybe the motion of the mobile or maybe the candle and trying to make the light or put the light on, something like that. And um, yes, this is, I think I have the connection uh, through the objects to my time but I try not to stay only in this time to put them out of this. These objects or these situations in my painting 
um, with time and Shannery, not just stay in my time in this month, in this day, to connect, connect maybe yeah, with, with time and Shannery. Because I think um, if you're completely out of your time, I don't know if it could work. But the other thing is if you are completely in your time, um, if time changes, um, maybe your paintings are not really um, representing every, any, 